Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Razak at CM Trading. Today is February 15, 2022, and today is Tuesday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, markets are settling, gold rallies, but question is how much longer? Now looking at no major economic events for the day, but lots happening on the news between Ukraine and Russia. Looking at the Forex symbols, we're watching the major pairs take a breather and watching the indices, the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq settle after the sell-off, although we are getting a little bit of a bounce this morning. And looking at commodities, gold remaining strong while oil steady. Looking at the stocks that continue to show weakness yesterday. And lastly, looking at Bitcoin bouncing at support. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So looking at the markets, we're getting correction already. Look at this. We're at this resistance, this level 114.65. And then we retraced all the way down to 113, almost flat. And we're finally bouncing here this morning, 113.52. We are looking at a daily chart. So let's zoom in a little bit on a shorter time frame, a four hour flight. And you can see that <clears throat> We are bouncing nicely as this is crossing over the eight day moving average. Now we're still under the 30 day moving average, but we're getting close to it. And if you see the GBP also making that correctional move above the 30 day moving average here on the four hour chart and the Aussie USD getting close to it. Okay, so we're seeing some correctional moves in the market. Now this is all being spurred out that there's going to be some sort of resolution to this Ukrainian Russia crisis that is unfolding. Now jumping into commodities, gold retracing here finally 1870. This was a great level. I, this was ABC trading. This is money easy to be printed. Okay, as it's made a king its correction from 1870 down to 1854 this morning. Looking at crude oil also tanking here to 9256 as well as things are selling down in the Ukraine. Now looking at the US Dow Jones trading at 34,785. Nice little bounce we've gotten there, okay? As everybody is catching themselves short in this move on the downside, looking at the NASDAQ also finally bouncing after not selling off yesterday. So I expect the stocks to actually bounce today. Let's see how much of a bounce we do get. Apple was down yesterday, but settled on 168. And looking at Microsoft down more below $300 range. That is an important area that we traded down to. Amazon also getting a little bit strength yesterday. Tesla actually showing some strength yesterday, 876, not really trading downwards so much. And lastly, looking at JP Morgan, it did get that sell off quite sharply, but made that correction at the end of the day. This is news events. This is the type of events that you kind of like fade the market, which means that ultimately, it's a situation where the market is correcting itself. It's a knee jerk reaction to the news and then the correctional move right afterwards. And it's really ABC type of trading. So I hope you guys were on top of it. Now looking lastly at Bitcoin, finally getting that retracement to support. And I mentioned this and then getting the nice little bump up. Okay, that's a 3000 point move. Okay, and if you got that good for you, okay, because that really was the place 41572 was the place to actually pick it up. And that was all it had to do in order to correct itself. So as this news is continuously developing, expect more volatility in the markets. Okay, it's going to just show itself up. So be aware of that. And just make sure to catch your profits really quickly as well. And keep your losses minimum. This is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.